welcome everybody to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. It's a beautiful fall day today here. It the, certainly is. The weather's just fine. It is. Blue skies, sunshine, fast Freddy way to the left. You're right, ladies and gentlemen. Merrill in the middle, and I'll be Mad Dog. Hanging five. Hanging five? <laughs> Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. I'm going to take one more sip of coffee. We'll be right back. All right. Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is brought to you by Modern Home Products, the makers of MHP, Phoenix and Profire Grills, Cherry Delight, Native American Tourism of Wisconsin, Awesome Shrimp and Seafood, Healthy Homegrown Wisconsin Potatoes, No Name Butcher Quality Meats, Sun Drop Soda, The Oneida Nation, Glorious Malone Fine Sausage, Henning's Award-Winning Cheese, Golden Home Ultra Thin Pizza Crusts, and by Lashbro Aerial Images. Well, we got our gloves oh, on, ladies yes, and gentlemen. Do. Life is good. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. I'll tell you what, we're blessed. I'll tell you what, I don't know where you folks are watching from. You could be in Florida, you could be in Texas, you could be in California, you could be up in Alaska, you could be up in Canada. You could be anywhere in the world because that's where this show airs. 35 states, 110 different markets. It airs in the rural network up in Canada on Roku. It airs on uh, uh, different stations that you can log into. So wherever you are, God bless you all. Yes, <laughs> thank you for being with us, for putting up with us. Yeah, Freddie. Yeah, with us. Putting up with Freddie. Yeah, that's Pago, a lot. Pago, Pago, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what you got cooking, man? You know, you know, you know I, 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 we, all, all our 38 years of doing grilling, I always had a say, a saying, if you boil it, you spoil it. If you grill it, you put thrill into it. Right. Uh, I'm, I'm actually going to par cook and par cook and add flavor to some chicken thighs. Boned in, skin on, chicken thighs. Okay. So I'm going I'm to par cook them and get them a little cooked through, and then we'll sear them off at the end. So right. we'll see what happens here. So last night we did, we did chicken. I did some nice oven baked chicken. I got a bunch of stock left over from that. And that's some gorgeous stock. And I think that might be all I need, but I'm gonna add a little apple juice. You can add beer, you can add a little wine if you want oh, to. Beer. I'm just gonna add a little bit of apple juice in there. And, and here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna season that baby up a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna squeeze a little lemon in there because life is good. A little Worcestershire. Uh, this is our garlic pepper, heavy on the pepper. It's good sodium stuff, free. man. So we're gonna add a whole bunch of that in there and we're just gonna add some flavor. Now, uh, Meryl and I get around, we call it the manure tour. And, and, and once in a while we meet up with a good friend at a flea market in Shano, Ross. Ross, you gave me these little habaneros. Oh. And I've been hanging on to these habaneros <laughs> and I froze them down and then thawed them out so there's a lot of juice. Ooh. <laughs> so, I'll be asked to see how that So comes we're gonna up. throw the habaneros in there. That's gonna give it some lovely little flavor. Uh, in the cooler over here, and let me just grab these babies out. Uh, we have some of our, our good Midwest chicken. All right. And uh, our good Midwest chicken. These are boned in, skinned on chicken thighs. So these go right from the package. I'm gonna place them skin side down, or uh, flesh side down, meat side down, if you will. And I'm gonna add eight of those in there. And I'm gonna get those on a good hot heat. So we're using our Pro Fire today. This is the meat, this is the Cadillac, this is the Rolls Royce of them all. It's a gorgeous stainless steel grill. It's got a couple of side burners over here that'll fire up to any degree you want. Bless you, bless you. They, uh, uh, in, a, in a nice big cooking surface there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get these babies bubbling and it's gonna take about 15, 20 minutes or so once they start rumbling a little bit to actually cook them through just a tad bit just to get the flavors going. Normally, if you boil it, you spoil it, you grill it, you put thrill into it. But we're going to give this one a shot. We're going to add all those great flavors in there, and I'm going to get a cooking on those babies. Well, I'm right. anxious with those habanero peppers. That's really going to add some flavor but, uh, in there, the, I would the, think. The, the key thing there is to let it rumble and yep. get the flavors of the peppers in. Yep, I hear you. I am going to add some uh, uh, mushrooms, carrots, and taters, uh, uh, Yukon Golds, once I take the chicken out. Okay. And I think I'll take the habaneros out just in case we don't. Oh, that'd be interesting later, man. I'd appreciate that. <laughs> Freddie would. <laughs> Freddie, you got. You got smothered Italian sausages. I Why know, do you I can't go go away, my favorite. Smothered Italian sausage is my favorite, too. Yeah, hey, and by, the, and by the way, Rod, thanks for the garbage can. Oh, oh you, you missed, missed it, it you missed it. All right. Smothered Italians. Yeah. I, uh, there's nothing like it. On the Italians that I'm doing today, we're using fresh Italian sausages. I've got some onions here. I've got some pepper. I've got some whole <laughs> garlic that I'm going to put in there. And then I'm going to season that very, very well. I'm not going to touch it. Okay, I can now. 
that in there. Oh. You know how many shows I've been waiting for this? I know. <laughs> I know. I hear you, you, know, you know, about about three shows ago, uh, I did some nice little Italian. My Freddie wanted Italian sausage, and I made beef and pork together. Made some great Italian burgers, but then I served them with 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 a not so good bread, <laughs> and not a bun. And 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 and. and, and, and he didn't like it. He didn't like it. Okay, I'm going to be all using right. some uh, pure Italian here before I add the oil on there. And plenty of it. This is all Italian seasonings in here. Okay. Do that really good. So a little bit of W sauce. <laughs> and Freddy, some little hot sauce in there, Freddy boy. Right. And then here's the key thing. You want to blend in the flavors here. Okay, we got a little bit of fennel. And now we add the oil. I'm going to oil this oil really good. Now, those can Sun be sauteed flour. in a cast iron skillet. Those can yep. be put in a small little Nesco. But no, not today. Merrill, Merrill's using the nifty little grill mats. They're a real thin carbon fiber, non-stick surface. Uh, you see us using them quite a bit. Uh, we like them. We appreciate them. Uh, I use a, we've been using a lot of cast iron skillets. Oh, we have. We that works out well. Yep. But Merrill's got a, a nice high heat over here. Look at that, man. On one side. What a mix. So you can see the flavor in there, I all enriched that. in there. I'm going to pour that on the grill. Doesn't that look delicious? Yeah. Glistening. You got it. You got it. Throw it right mm -hmm. on there, Very sir. Fun. Listen to that nice and sizzle. Going to cook those down. And it won't take long, but they cook up nice. Yep, you got her. Going to cook the Italians. So fresh Italian sausages, Meryl? Yes, sir. All right. So fresh. Now you can get smoked Italians. It's kind of warm out here, so we got a cooler over here. Uh, we got some nice Midwest Italian sausages. Four cheese Italian? Four cheese Italian. You That'll got, work. You got the gloves on. No, a lot of ways that you can do that. We're going to grill these at a, a direct heat, at a low medium heat. You can cook these the indirect method of cooking for about a good 25 to 30 minutes and then brown them up the end. But we're going to brown ours first and, and then, then add smother them. them. And smother them up. You got it. So, so we're going to put some fresh Italians on the grill. So just enough to brown and score them up a little bit and it works out just well. Uh, if you haven't figured it out yet, ladies and gentlemen, you can go to maddogandmerrill.com. Uh, you can join us on Facebook. We do appreciate it. It shows all the events that Merrill and I are at. Uh, we're always every year, like for instance, if you're around the Appleton area or in Wisconsin, uh, we're at the Fox River Mall uh, the whole month of December each and every day uh, selling beautiful gift boxes and cookbooks and grill mats and stuff like that. So the Fox River Mall in Appleton, Wisconsin, you can catch us. That's just a commercial plug, Freddie. That was well, a good one. What about the Shadow Flea Market? The sh that'll be over by the time this airs, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at them babies. I know, they're going to be good. I can smell that fresh Italian. That smells good, Meryl. I love it. You're doing great. I don't care what Freddie says. You're okay. All right. Oh, yes. in the mood there, Freddy boy. Hey, welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. Beautiful day. It is a gorgeous day. We're, we're part cooking some chicken thighs when last we left you, good folks. Oh, yes. We're part cooking some chicken thighs, getting some great flavor in there, as opposed to marinating them maybe for a couple hours. I want to part cook them. And if you can see these babies just a bubbling, the skin is coming apart, they're turning white, they're actually cooking through really, really nice. And, and just out of curiosity's sake, I'm going to take their temps. And just to see if they are cooking. Yeah, I'm curious. 119, 120, 120. So that's right. pretty good. That rose that rose up quite a bit. Yeah. Wow, there's 147, 141. Easy peaks, yeah, yeah, man's yeah. We're going. Doing We're doing good. So those didn't take very long. I had a good high heat with our pro fire. That baby fires up nice. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our chicken thighs, and I'm going to place them skin side down over a lower heat to start searing those off. Good oh. choice, man. And I tasted that sauce, and it, it's it's a little spicy. It's got the habanero flavor in there, that's for sure. Oh, good. We got a good hot heat going on down there. So I guess I turned that one over already. Not too spicy in the habanero, or just well, right? we'll find out, won't we, Freddie? <laughs> <laughs> give it to give it to Freddie. He'll let us go real quick. Uh, he could be our tester. And here's what we're gonna do. You know, we're always good friends with the uh, uh, Wisconsin potato growers. Right. Uh, these are some gorgeous little Yukons. Uh, so they're a little yellow in flavor and high in moisture. And we're just going to toss those inside our little broth so that we have some vegetables to serve when we're done. Now, as a rule, I would take and I would slice and I would peel all these nice carrots. Do you peel the carrots, Freddie? Not usually. You don't, do you? No. Just with the back end of the 
I buy them in that little bag where they're about the size of a little finger. <laughs> do you really? Do you always buy the uh, the little the little baby carrots? That's the best snack. You know, it's a healthy oh, snack. Oh, it's a good yeah. snack. You're absolutely yeah. right. No wonder you look so healthy, Freddie. Well, can't they rather really see me eat that than a bag of potato chips? Yeah, or a wine beverage for breakfast, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different food group. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to get the carrots in there. All right. And uh, if you folks have time, I'm, I meant to chop this onion up, but we're going to... Take that time, man. Take time. Take time. Make her... We'll make her work. No, you're looking good. Yeah. Flavor's going to be good in those. Oh. I'm really anxious to see how these come out. I really am. So we're just going to kind of semi-wedge those babies. That's good. Just then it's going to add some nice little flavor to it. So we're going to get those babies cooking, too. Our chicken thighs, watch this, we just messed around just for a second or two. And I'm gonna turn these over and then I'm gonna turn the heat off underneath. Right. And then we're just gonna kind of slow cook them. I'm gonna baste them with a little bit of our barbecue sauce. So with the pro mm. fire, I got three huge burners. So I'm gonna turn those like that. I'm gonna put that hood down. I'm gonna turn the burner off underneath. I'm gonna leave the other ones, this one on low because I don't need much heat underneath that broth. I don't think that's gonna cook right away. And leave that one on high. So you got it high, medium, off. High, medium, off. High, medium, off. Boy, All that right. looks delicious, Merle. Are you ready there, sir? Sure. Uh, little Italian sausages here. Brown these up. We're going to move them right over here, right on top of what we've got of the uh, onions, some peppers in there, and a lot of garlic. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to top these, and then we're going to let them simmer there and get a little bit more, because you want them on fresh Italians, you want them nice and moist and everything yeah. on the inside. So I'm going to start out with some mushrooms right here. Freddie loves shrooms. Go ahead there, sir. You got it. Well, we'll just go like that. You got We're it. We're smothering yeah. them. They got it. Smothered shrooms, Freddie. Yeah. I'm going to turn the heat Freddy's on over on this side again now. There we go. Roasted red peppers. Those are the jarred roasted red peppers. Got to keep them in the... Keep them in the playing field. Keep them in the playing field. Yeah, 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 Can't yeah. go outside, ladies and gentlemen. No, don't go outside the playing Anaheim field. Anaheim peppers sliced up. Fresh Anaheim, not the jarred bananas. No, no. <laughs> Keep them in the playing field. Keep them in the playing field. Oh, man. And now. Freddy's favorite. Favorite Freddy's favorite oh, I love olives. It. Black olives. Sliced black olives. Sliced black olives. That's my son's favorite, too. Really? Yeah. He loves them. So we're doing a nice little smothered dish. Oh, okay, look so at that. So Merrill has that grill mat underneath. We've got a, a, a stand back just a tad bit. I will, sir. No, oh, hold on now, young okay. man. I would mix up a sauce. All right, first. I will do the sauce. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I, so, 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 we have the grill mat underneath. We got all the great peppers and onions underneath there. We smothered them with all the top of that toppings there. Okay, I got the works or barbecue sauce. I got some garlic underneath there. It's not barbecue sauce. It's our Dworks, ladies and gentlemen. Well, thank That's you. homemade Dworks. ketchup, Dworks. sauerkraut, onions, and a nice brown mustard inside of there, deli mustard in there. That's a little our healthy harvest, 25 herbs and spices. All right, I'm going to mix that around. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a squeeze into lemon from last show. All right, sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> you guys weren't here. We were here. Well, maybe you were. It was last week. Maybe. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pour this over top. Oh, boy, you got her all. I got so. her all, man. Got her all, got her all, okay, got her all. Drizzle it evenly. I think that lemon reinforced the flavor. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to spread that out a little bit more, man. Yeah. All right. Good job. Good job, sir. All right. Can you sand your belly back a little bit with the shade? Mr. Cameraman, can you pan in on that, baby? Doesn't that look absolutely delicious so far? Okay. We're not done yet. So, Mar Meryl, you got mozzarella cheese. Oh, you got grated cheese, too. I got too, grated huh? cheese. Throw that gun, son of a gun on there. And so, <laughs> you want me to slice this? Yeah. I might even want to even put that on first, matter of fact. Well. All right, I'll put this on next. I don't know. Be good. Got to be good. All right. I'll be jiggered. Is that what Fresh you... Fresh mozzarella. You got her, sir. I've never worked with fresh mozzarella. See? Yeah. See what this show does to you? You do good. <laughs> God, if you only knew. <laughs> <laughs> throw that on right. the top, this with the cheese on top. So there you go. You can't just throw it. That fresh mozzarella, you wait till you see this is all melted. Well, you won't be able Beautiful. to see it if you don't put that on top. Well, I will, I will. I want to get that I'm on saying? the bottom. That's what I was saying. There you I go. I like the fresh mozzarella. There you go. Damn it. Well, you're talking. There you go. There you go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> now let that simmer up. Put the hood down. Let her slow cook. 
How's the spuds doing? Just wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> All right, Very guys. Good. What do you think, Meryl? Well, take her away. Take her away. Get us out of here, Freddie. It's getting pretty deep. It is. Pretty deep. We'll be right back with more of Mad Dog and Meryl's Midwest Drilling. Days. The reason we're happy is Freddie's <laughs> happy. He gets his Italian sausage fine. Well, I'll tell you what, there's habanero peppers in there. Is there? Every time you open up that hood, you get a whiff of that pepper, and it just uh, buys water just a little bit. Just, well, it's a dry throat. Let me tell you that. It's a dry throat, ladies and gentlemen. Freddie's got a dry throat, too. He's not even around the peppers. <laughs> All right. Well, at least you had breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Should we do a little scooping? Let's do it. Man, look at that, ladies All and right. gentlemen. Doesn't that look great? Okay, All right, we're going to go. I want to see this. This guy is the king of scooping. Oh, man. You ever really notice that? I could there. What do these say? Look at that. You know, if I tried that. That would be that. all over. That <laughs> would be way all over. Look at Every you, man. Every one of them, baby. Boy, them mushrooms sure look good. Freddie, you're the mushroom king. I'm going to save some of them behind yeah. you. There's a lot of mushrooms on there. You yes, there is. Two packs? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, that's look good. Nice and hot. Should we button one up for you, Freddie? Go for it. He's going to go for it. It's going for it, ladies and gentlemen. Nice little artisan heath mm. buns, little hoagie buns. Those will be good. Now, if you wanted to, you could use the works, but we're going to go plain for the old Italian salad over here today. Oh, look at that baby. Look at that, man. Got a little mozzarella on there. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh Freddy, Is that okay, Freddy. Freddy? <laughs> I think I'm in Maxwell Street. <laughs> look at <laughs> that, that, man. Is, don't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. There you go, Freddy. Let's button one up for the camera. There you go. So we don't have to She's watch. She's piping hot. So we don't have to watch pool. Freddy eat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I even start on this. <laughs> oh, come on, Freddy. I know. I know. It's for the, it's for the love of television. I know, but it's hotter than... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Cool. What do you always say, Dutch I'll tell you what's going to happen is, let me, let me bun this one up right here. Let me set that right there. Uh, and let me show you some really, really, really good eats also. Yeah, let me grab my hot cool mess. Yeah, otherwise I'm going to be... Up there over here? Sure, yeah, we don't let that pretty hot. My pleasure. He's piping hot. Hotter yeah. than Dutch love, my grandmother. Right, love it. It says. Go up underneath there so you can see all those babies. Those are those beautiful, that's onions, the carrots, the potatoes, the Yukons from Wisconsin, <laughs> all cooked up in that nice heated broth. And that turned out delicious. And the thighs, honest to goodness, I was going to slobber some of our barbecue sauce on here. And, and it's not very good marketing not to have our barbecue sauce on here. We do have a number one sweet and rich. We got a great smokehouse hickory yep. and, a, and a habanero mash one. That, the habaneros like we added to there. Uh, and that would have been, any one of those would have been just delicious on these thighs. Looking good, Mon. But nice in the to same way. you can taste the habanero and the chicken. I bet you you can. I, I'm wondering too. So I'm gonna move this plate right here. And we're wow, that right the there. habaneros are making my eyes water. Seriously, isn't that crazy? <laughs> Holy uh, cow. So we're gonna dish up and make a little platter here. Get some carrots, get some taters, scoop a little broth with the onions. Ooh, looks good. A couple little thighs and you got yourself a beautiful, beautiful meal. You certainly do. Straight from the Midwest, isn't it? That is Midwest, sir. Yeah, I got two. That's about as Midwest as you could get. Not so, all the time, so, but. So we found out today that you you, you can par cook thighs. Yep. You can pre cook them. They look absolutely delicious. They look nice and tender. There's no problem there. We bubble them in a nice sauce to give them flavor. So if you do par cook, that's absolutely fine. Just throw them right on the grill right away and cook them up. Your Italian sausages, Miro. I'll tell you what, you know, you, you get you go to those uh, food trucks. Right, yeah. And you get those food trucks with those big griddles, and they're going like this all day long, and they're sweating about oh, like we man. are here today. And That's they're cooking up a great meal. And if you can ever smell that, and if you've ever been to one of those food trucks with the Italian sausages, that's what we're smelling today. Yeah, it is. It is. It's got a good Freddy, flavor. has that cooled down yet? Not enough. Uh, <laughs> not enough. <laughs> I'd be worried, too, to be honest with you. Let's just taste Let's it. Let's it hot. All right, yeah. Yeah. All right. All right, there. here we go. Yeah. There, oh, look at that. She's a steaming man, man. Yeah. And a little mozzarella that's, cheese. That's the way to do it. <laughs> yeah, I know, for television, Freddie. We'll save the other one for you. <laughs> oh, yeah, good. she's piping hot. Yeah. She oh, is she's piping a hot. hot. Wow. <laughs> mm. Very good. Mm -hmm. If it burns your fingers that much, it's certainly going to burn my mouth. Well, you know, that's when you know mm. that it's done. You know? There's no doubt so about this that, being done. You'll never be fingerprinted well, again, Freddie. So these, I are, these I are the fresh Italians. There's smoked right. Italians out there. Smoked brats, fresh brats. Uh, it doesn't make a difference. 
just go at them, smothering up like we did today. The grill mats work really, really nice. Mm. Uh, we're Mad Dog and Merrill. This is Midwest Grill. And now I'm making you play the piano for yes, you. Yes, you are. Boy, go to maddogandmerrill.com, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back to wrap this baby up. These will be cooled down. We'll be able to take some nice big bites just so you can see how delicious they are. Mm, they are delicious. I bet they are. They are. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. You folks have a great one out there. Happy grilling, ladies Happy and gentlemen. Happy grilling, everybody. See you next time. Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is a production of Lashbro Visual Communications.